lawnmower, prostate, gas bag, veggie tails. <laughs> Look at hey, you! Hey, episode nine. It's accordion pants over oh, here. Oh man, hanging what? out with long belly button. Long, hey, Mr. <laughs> Dancing long belly button over here. <laughs> I, I I need an excuse to, but I can now see why it was impossible for us to, because you can't. There's too many notes in there for one mouth to make oh, an accordion yeah. sound. Last I, week yeah. we just sucked at doing it, and, <laughs> and now, now, you it have all, it. now it all checks out. All right, Joe Paisley. Dan Cummins. And again, you are listening to Is Be Dumb. We drop new episodes every Wednesday at noon. So wherever you find your podcast, that's where we can find Is Be Dumb. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to find us online, Instagram, Facebook, at Is Be Dumb. Keep sending that segment content at dom at isbedumb.com. Uh, one star reviews, yes. dumb, dumb idiots, apocalypse mm-hmm. pending, just stupid stuff that you don't yeah. even know what segment it might go into. Yep. Send it our way. Love it. Love we'll it. Fi- we'll figure it out. I will do some of the fan one stars soon. Okay. I, I have my own today, but soon. Yeah. We're we'll a little highlight. Yeah, there's some fun ones in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just keep just keep on sending them because uh, I, th- I use uh, quite a few fan submitted things today in, nice. uh, in this show. It's not like the dumb, dumb listener edition, yeah. but they have sent in stuff that I, you go and you check out. Yeah. It's other people doing dumb stuff, but I did receive it from them. Excellent. So I appreciate it. It's great. And then anything else that's not segment related, you can send that at info at isbedumb.com. And we got our merch at badmagicmerch.com or isbedumb.com. And uh, again, maybe the last mm-hmm. time I mention this. Okay. I don't know. It just, I'm making it a big deal. It's not even that big of a deal. <sighs> we'll post the links in the episode description uh-huh. for the videos that we play. Okay. Why do I make that such a big deal every week? I like I like it. It's helpful. <sighs> I don't know, why am I all upset about it? I, I, I have be. no idea. You're med- probably mentally ill. I shouldn't be worried about it. But I feel like everyone's judging me every time I say it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You said it last week. Fucking oh, shut funny. up. What a, what a weird battle in your head. I know. I'm making up this own <laughs> civil war that I'm pretty sure is uh, is not existing. I do, I do that too all the time, uh, especially on Time Suck, where I'll like, I'll mis- mispronounce something or whatever, or right. I'll question like s- something. I didn't phrase it the way I wanted to phrase it. Uh-huh. And like 30 minutes later, I'm still kind of in my head. What? Like, I'm like, why didn't I phrase it? I know. Why did you say, switch? You said, you said the. It's a weird said, pause. Let's say the. And he said, the. Like, why'd you do I, that? I just, I, I didn't <laughs> say the whole word and I just fucking kept talking. And it's the mental breakdown. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. Cause I'm there right now. Like, I'm still thinking about it. I'm like, are people, now that I brought attention to it, yeah. are people going to make fun of me for it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just say the words and move on, Joe. Isn't that a funny thing that people do in general? And, and it's good. It's right. a good quality, I think, because it shows that you care. Yeah. And because you, because you, if, because there's other people who don't seem to be self critical at all. And a lot of times I think they're not doing a good job. Yeah. And also don't seem to care. I'm like, well, then you're never going to get better. <laughs> yeah. But, but then you can take it so far that it becomes this like megalomaniac type mentality like like as if the world <laughs> is just that affected yeah. like like my head like the ego where it's like <laughs> if i don't pronounce the word right that some guy's gonna like pull his car over and be like what why no why? Oh! And, and then he just drives it over a cliff <laughs> life is not worth living mispronounce one word and you go boop off to the next show <laughs> sucks Bye. right or that yeah fuck him <laughs> Hate it. I have questions about your accordion. Okay. Do you want to touch it? You can touch a, a winter after. A winter that after. That was one of your bands, right? Yeah, that was early on. That, that was, was before Moretta. Yeah, that was um, not the first band I was in, but it was the first metal band I was in. What was the first band you were in called? Uh, your Agent. Your Agent. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good names. Now, nice. what, what about DBS Shoe Company? Why is that sticker on here? That, because I used to skate. And those are oh, DBS shoes. Oh, for skating. Okay. Dang I mean, it. I've had this thing forever. I want to say even elementary school. I got oh. it when I was pretty young, like third grade. Wow. And then, of course, passed it down along with a little guitar that said Joe on it across oh, the top. Oh, fun. And they, my kids smashed both of them within two days. Oh. Um, the guitar is completely fucked. That's gone. Uh, and then this one, they broke. And I loved it so much, I took it apart and yeah. fixed it. <sighs> I made some wood slats, like re-glued and stretched some stuff over good. there and Solid. put it back together. Yeah. I want to wake... My dogs wake me up every morning uh, for their food now. <laughs> yeah. And then they go back to bed. Oh. Like, they eat, they go outside, they poop. And then they're just like, like a teenager, snu- yep, kind yeah, of. yeah, and then they snuggle mm-hmm. back in bed and then, and then they're good for a while after I'm up. And when they're in deep slumber, I want to see what would happen if I just uh, went right next to them. Uh, good morning, Penny and Gentle. Wake up and have your food. Wake up and have your food. <laughs> and just like watch... <laughs> 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 we had a one of, one of my childhood dogs with Basset Hound and Border Collie. Mm. So that piss, if you just anywhere in the house, even yeah. if you're outside, and just oh, no, you hated it. Oh, oh fun! They would same with the piano. They would just no matter where you would, you'd wake him up and or wake her up, and she would she'd give you a little howl. I want to I want to see that band. 
I want to see. <laughs> I want to. I want to see Bassett Hound and accordion and Joe, and Joe Guy. Joe accordion and Bassett Hound and Belly Button Guy and, be, and Belly. You can't leave I, him out. I'm, uh, that's the dancer. That's the dancer. That's the band dancer. It's maybe like a ooh up in the background type thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get it. All right, let's move on to the very super most important starting porting. See, uh, this see, is it, dude. Somebody, somebody just pulled everyone, the car. Somebody just drove off a fucking cliff. <laughs> the emails are flooding it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to recover. from The show's this. over. <sighs> No more show. Okay. So it's all wrap it up. Now. Roll the, roll the, roll the, no, just, here we go. The very super <laughs> most important starting <laughs> question. Off to a roaring start. <laughs> Would you rather okay. have mm. sex with Yoko oh, Ono God. every Tuesday at 4.36 a.m.? Oh, okay. interesting. Very specific. Or only be able to masturbate to sexy pictures of asparagus? <laughs> this was sent in by dummy Danny Beer. By the way, so thanks for sending this one in for us. This is very specific. It is. As always, I have a strong first choice. Okay. Masturbating to asparagus. That's your that's your initial that's choice. That's my initial, just because I, I can't. Yoko Ono is the, it's like, her, some of her music is the worst sounds. Okay. Like, like I would rather sit through a f- six hour concert of accordion, bass and hound, and belly button dancer and Joe, <laughs> yeah. than to sit through a 30 minute concert of Yoko Ono. I was just always wondering, Zach, if you want to bring it up, is this um, how she sounds during an orgasm? So this is mixed with goats because they sound the exact same. Let's keep going. I couldn't tell the difference between the goats oh and Yoko Ono. So I think that she, uh, if she sounds like Dude. that, and he, I don't yeah. know why I'm so caught up on the AM part of this. Like oh, that's how I start uh-huh, my, uh-huh. I have to start my day by fucking Yoko. Mm. Just, uh, oh, 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 sh- sh- shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'd try everything I could to like talk her into hardcore BDSM just so I could tape her fucking mouth shut. Just Either she wasn't ball. into it, I would always try to pitch it. Come on, it. gag ball. Just well, try, try it. it one time forever. Just try it forever. <laughs> just always have it. Try it one time, for, please, forever. Just, just try it in the bedroom and then keep it on forever. Why is it, ma- I mean, but early in the morning sucks. Like, late afternoon, might be a little sleepy, a little wake you up, you'll be fine with it. But first thing in the morning, <laughs> that early? No, thank you. I got to get this out of my head. There is a video, just before I move on, okay. about Yoko Ono. It's Yoko Ono, John Lennon. They're on a mu- oh. uh, that show in like the sixties. I can't remember yeah. the host name, and I believe it's Chuck Berry. Yeah, is, I think is jam right. with him, uh-huh. and there is a gr- the best moment when the the song's going well. John's singing, it's mm-hmm. great. Chuck's rocking out on the guitar, and then Yoko does one of those, uh-huh. and you just catch Chuck give this like, "What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Like, look, you said she knew what she was doing, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's so you great. You didn't know what she was doing. I think, I'm sorry." I'm sorry. sorry. She's my wife. She scares the shit out of me. <laughs> She'll kill me. One of the best moments on the internet, I think. Yeah. Of all yeah. time. Damn it, Chuck dude. Barry, that was right? so yeah. good. Yeah. 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 I should, well, now I want to find that. Maybe we'll throw it in for uh, for next week or something. <laughs> Maybe we'll post about it on the socials. <laughs> Maybe. But I think the next the next this, part of this uh, is the asparagus. What is sexy asparagus? Well, that's true. I I, I don't know that you. And every time you have to have adjective. to pleasure yourself. Yeah. It's either. Your brain, Mental brain, back to like back to growing up where this yeah. was enough, uh, and then yeah. th- you'd have to pull it off. But any porn is just going to be sexy uh, asparagus. I mean that do- that is a bummer. Is it a little moist? It it is sad because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes <laughs> it's like I'm working a lot. You know, Lindsay's tired, whatever like that. Mm-hmm. I do enjoy just having a little ten minutes to myself mm-hmm. and finding the picture that I want to find. Oh, you know, you maybe up, maybe it's up. a redheaded hiker. I get very specific. <laughs> maybe it's a uh, but, but the trail and the difficulty of the hike. You factor that in too. <laughs> You're like medium difficulty right. redheaded hiker. But it's just crazy with the internet. You can do so many like nude redheaded hiker, and then you can put like a country like Estonia, <laughs> and it's like, and there's a list of that specific. Won't do. Just the amazing variety, <laughs> and, and, and that is like it, variety is the spice of life. It is right, you uh-huh. know. And sometimes that's just a, a really nice like part of the day, especially when you're having a shitty day. It's like you mm-hmm. can always at least for free. On the phone, you could joke, jerk off to whatever kind you want. You ever found yourself That's like, ruined now with the asparagus thing. Right. Like 40, 42 pages, pages deep into a, a search and really get upset with yourself? <laughs> like too far. When I was younger. Won't do. Won't I'm, do. No, I'm, I'm going to work. I'm quick with with the work and the kids. If I have ten minutes in the back when everyone's at the house asleep, man, I don't need much time anymore. It's just I'm efficient. <laughs> it's like it's like where it's just like okay, I want to give myself sixty <laughs> seconds to find yeah. it. That'll do. Mm-hmm. And oh, right, now go to sleep now. Yeah. Sweet. So take all that away. Mm-hmm. Asparagus. 
And now I'm just, I mean, I guess if the end, what if you're, I mean, if you're the end it, result, if the end result is the same, I mean, if it was a really nice, beefy, full stock asparagus, like thick, That's, veiny, it's just, it's just already sad sometimes. It's just life the way it is when you get busy and stuff that you even like are in the bathroom drinking off. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, like when like you're a kid, you're not thinking like, man, someday I'm going to be having so much sex. Like you don't think like, man, I can't wait till I'm 43 and just in yeah. the bathroom alone jerking off. <laughs> Like it's, not, it's not a dream. What a, what a weird life or uh, a weird twist that life gives you <laughs> at that point. You're like, nah, right. just go fuck myself. <laughs> right, right. But so it's, <laughs> so it's oh, geez. <laughs> oh, humans. And, and then and then to also be jerking off to asparagus, no matter how much you're, it's just it's so it's sad. One thing to, to get caught in having to explain, your, or not even have to explain your way right. out of like maybe masturbating to right. porn. Like you get caught doing that. That well, makes and, sense. What if you yeah. get caught? Uh, let's, for Lindsay walks in, she catches you jerking off, and then she sees what it, and it's asparagus. Oh yeah, how do we get out of and, that? And she doesn't even care. Just to be clear, because I know everybody knows this as a couple. They're not. Oh, when Lindsay right. finds out, no, she doesn't care. She, right. she knows. She, I, I have full permission. Right. This kind of stuff. But but I, she, she would be more disturbed because <laughs> she can't. You know, because I am jerking off to like women pictures of yeah. naked women. I am attracted to naked women, and she can be a naked woman who I'm she very can. attracted to very easily. She very can be easily, that. she can yeah. take her clothes off, and I'm like, that's exactly what I like. Whoa, how'd you, have, you know? You have every single part that okay. I like. One, one, two, three, boom, four, boom, five, six, bing, bing, and I'm in. and bing, <laughs> and one more. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! But but asparagus, like, yeah, she can't compete with that. <laughs> I mean, I guess she could, she could put some on. Can you imagine then she's trying to like, it's like all sad. The and she rest has of like, her life. She has a, like a fresh asparagus taped to her tits. <laughs> and like another, another stalk in her vagina. She's like, come on. I know you like it. I think just going all out. All right. <laughs> this is years in and you come home from work and you go in and then in the kitchen, she turns around and she's just in a giant cosplay asparagus suit. <laughs> like a Veggie Tales character, but sexualized. Welcome home. Like wearing, uh, wearing, a, wearing a thong over a Veggie Tales costume. <laughs> Welcome home. Veggie Tales <laughs> and fishnets, sex toys. It's like oh. uh, such a crazy visual. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so she just she loses her mind trying to trying to help you out. Um, right. right. But, but I don't. But all of as crazy as all of that is. Yeah. Better than Yoko. Better than sex with Yoko. One hundred percent. I can't. We're on the same page. Okay. Sweet. All right. Yeah, that, that that's great. I think that's a. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I w- I would like to go the other way, uh, but no matter how many times I try to uh, block out how that might be. And Yoko I can't. Ono, when she was you know uh, first married to John, she was an attractive. I thought she was a physically attractive woman, but I just the the confidence that she would sing. It's just like the asparagus would age uh, better. <sighs> you get what? You get it. I get it. <laughs> Yeah. She did not age as well as the asparagus no, would age. Not even so. close. Not in a sexual way, no. Uh, let's talk about how dumb we are, though. Okay. Okay. Is we dumb? Is we dumb? Having fun. Having a good time. Fun still, times. Still thinking about that opening right now, man. I know. A lot of people are. <laughs> <laughs> Though the few people who are still listening are. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck the God. Fuck, just bring it up. Um, <laughs> last week, and we did get a bunch of emails sent in to dumb at isbedumb.com of people... Uh, sharing what they got taken away at TSA. Okay, uh, piggybacking yeah. off my knife story. Yeah. There's actually some people offering advice about how I could possibly get it back. Okay. Uh, but there are some good stories. I didn't. I don't think I have any of the updates in today's show. Yeah. But we will get some uh, oh, next in, a, in future shows because okay, cool. they, they are pretty good. There's some cool. really really funny uh, situations. But this week, let's talk mm-hmm. about how dumb you are. Okay. So the dumb thing I did to give a little backstory on why I felt the need to do this. Uh, I'm I'm pretty excited about my lawn right now. Okay, it's been struggling for a few years. I didn't no, care for a while. Thank that's you. Dad, dad that's dad stuff. stuff. Yeah, proud. And and the lawn it we got reseeded and it's very vibrant and green. <sighs> and but, it, but because it's so thick, it fills up both of our garbage bins. And the garbage collection comes Tuesday morning. Okay, so you're you're a clip picker upper guy. I, I am a clip picker. I don't like to leave the clippings around because okay. then they dry out. I guess I'm getting more anal that way. And I don't like the way it looks. Right. So I have to, but but it will fill up both things. And so if I don't um, mow it in time. I can have two weeks, which would be four what? things. And then I have to like put it in bags. It's then I have many. to take it to the dump. And it's a yeah, whole thing. It's a too many. So Monday, uh, this this past Monday, I, I right after work, okay. I just went home and I mowed the lawn. It's the fastest I've ever <laughs> mowed that lawn by far. Okay. But I thought I had more time. I didn't realize how much faster the sun has been going down earlier and earlier every oh, night. Yeah, I, I, so quickly. I mean, quick side note. Did it feel like just yesterday the sun was up till nine? Yes. And now it's gone yes. like at seven? Right. Yeah. It, what, it happened, happened so fast. It hasn't even like, hit daylight savings. Exactly. Exactly. And it just took this nosedive <laughs> off this cliff. And so um, I'm mowing and, I, and I'm hustling, sweating, like okay. really like sp- like like you uh, you made fun of it about like mall walking. Yeah. Like the image of just like hips. The, the hips just, just I wanted it. Power two walk. Three. We turn around mm-hmm. at Spencer's. We'll go. <laughs> like that. 
<laughs> and next turn, left, na- old navy. Right at hop, to- hop topic. Okay, and head down. Spin and go and go. Go past Zoomies. Go past Zoomies. And uh, then turn exa- around JCPenney's. If you hit all these storefronts, it's exactly one mile. We're going to do that twice, baby. <laughs> right. Go, right. go, go. <laughs> so I, and then it starts getting darker, darker, darker. And then the, I would say the last half an hour, it was just literally night. It was just pitch black. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't see what I was, it was mostly on memory. Uh-huh. And, I, and, and it's like the uh, the push mower where it's like you squeeze and it just self propels. And I'm just hauling ass. Yeah. And, I, and I had a thought of like, I could hit something. <laughs> and then I just thought, I want to get this fucking done. I'm not, I'm not picking I'm not up. leaving it halfway done. This project's not getting finished and, tomorrow. And so I just, I didn't even, I could have hit a rock I or mean, whatever. Yeah, back of your but, head though, you got the bin situation. Mm-hmm, How could you stop? You're not going to be able to sleep thinking, right. knowing that grass is going to be in the bin after the trash gets taken <laughs> right, out. Right. <laughs> How but you but, do that? But so stupid because it is dangerous because things can shoot off from these lawnmowers if you're not if you hit something you're not supposed to. And I know that because I have a dent in my truck door okay. right now because my kid was helping me mow my grandpa's lawn. Uh-huh. We're helping him out. Mm-hmm. He hit a metal sprinkler head and turned it into a fucking missile. <laughs> that if it would have hit me in like the head, it would have killed me. And it hit my truck, put a nice like dent. So it's like that just happened not that oh, long man. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's in my head. But I was just like, no, nah, but I want to get it done. Right. That, that's how bad things happen when you're like you you have the gut feeling of like oh, I probably shouldn't do this, <laughs> but then you're like, Stop. yeah, but I'm in a hurry. Right. Who cares? I'm a, I'm no quitter. I'm no quitter. I just thought of a new product. Yeah, uh, lawnmower headlights. Ooh, that's a good Send one. Send me some money so I don't have to risk it, but I'll try to make it with you. That is the best slash worst idea because I picture <laughs> I picture that being, that's such a good idea, and I just picture my neighbors being. Fucking infuriated. They're super, it's two super o'clock bright, in the morning. Like spotlight bright. <laughs> I just picture it, it's so late. Just mowing the lawn for an hour and a half at, from like two to three thirty in the morning. Hey Jerry. <laughs> right. Just finishing up. <laughs> Had a long day at work. You I'll get it. Be, <laughs> turn like turn it off. What? Yeah. What? I'm sleeping. Oh. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> I, I was going to be the guy who doesn't get it. Okay, good, that's great. I'm glad, glad you're getting some sleep. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And then just go right back to mowing. Right. I can't wait till I can sleep too. It'll be right after this. <laughs> right now. It'll be, be like an, an hour. Right. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like the 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 worried about the trash thing, I get. Yeah. Because I've done projects uh, that I necessarily didn't want to do or stayed up way too long finishing them just so I could shove them in the trash can the next day. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's just, I think it's just dad stuff. Yeah. Get a little mm-hmm. scared of it. Um, I've mowed the lawn in a very similar situation. Right. Uh, but I, I went into it and it was already a bad idea. Yeah. It's just one of those times where you, I felt like I couldn't do it the next day. My best chance was to start mowing the lawn and it was like, this time of year so it yeah. gets dark early. Yeah. But it's not like it's that late. Right. So, right. so exactly. I, I started mowing like at 730. But yeah. like it's not, I mean, yeah, yeah, the sun's way down. And I just had to go out with a headlamp. That's so funny. Like that I said, you wear a headlamp. Got, you got a headlamp for it. Yeah. yeah. I think I gave idea, up. I did like the main patch. Then you stopped. And I was, I was like, I'm going to like, because I have hit something. Yeah. Uh, f- actually, funny story about launching something super far out of a uh, a lawnmower. Probably not that long ago, just on in my street. Yeah, mowing the little what's it called when the sidewalk on or the grass on oh, the other side of the sidewalk. Uh, I don't know, whatever I, that's yeah, called. Yeah, so I usually wouldn't easement. Really, yeah, something, something like, that. like that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't normally care, but I, I was going forward and I just kind of saw an area that I didn't trust all the way. Okay, and there was a car coming down the road, so I was coming down and then I stopped and I was like, I don't want to hit this area while this car's driving by. I'm gonna fucking launch something into it. <laughs> And I've right. done this a lot of times and like, it's just kind of a precaution. Yeah. This time this car goes by and I go forward and I shoot a fucking rock out Ooh. that hummed across <gasps> the street and just went, Phew! that if I was, would have stopped, I would have probably gotten punched. <laughs> this scary guy would have come got me. Man. Yeah. Yeah. But I get that. Was that used your truck? What if I, what if that was, what if, how yeah, the, <laughs> what if you were, that, that was the real, I'm like, wait a minute, my kid didn't do that. Joe did. Joe did that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you care about your lawn? No, I care a lot about my lawn. Like dandelions. Uh, as I get stuff? older, I do care more. You do? However, I also am a little pissed off that we even have them in the first place. Lindsay, like we Lindsay inherited feels that way. We inherited a super shitty plan. A eco friendly no. Go fuck yeah, yourself. I know, it's pretty You water it so that you can cut it, then you water it so you can cut it, and that's it. You're and wa- a lot of our lawn we don't even use. It's ever, just a, a fun thing that we do. You ever, Why not? Walk, you ever walk around barefoot in it? Yeah. Feels, I do. Feels so good. Yeah. So uh, you can do that. Mm-hmm. What my brother had done in Austin when he, I know, I get different climates. Sure. But he ripped out his fucking grass, just replaced it with AstroTurf. But does it, does it feel as it good? It feels though? good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dirt, I mean, dirt. it's long, it's fluffy. I mean, sure, it's a little bit different. It's weird because it gets hot. <laughs> but apart from that, you never have to cut it Lindsay, ever again. And you don't have to water it. Lindsay wanted to get turf, but then I just kept my argument against it was like the dog shit. Yeah. You it, have to be able to water it through. You, they uh, have, you, have to, you have to soap wash it. Like it's weird. instead of like weeding it. 
Yeah, you, you, you wash put it. soap on it and then pressure wash it, and that's how you mow your lawn. Weird. With a pressure washer. But I, I think we, everyone should have, like, gardens. Uh, and then be each, better. each block could have its own park. Like, mm-hmm. maybe everyone's backyard goes into a nice park, a shared park, where you can go play games and hang out. A pretty hefty park, but if the whole, if the whole like, uh, suburban thing was designed that way... It'd be a lot better than having to deal with lawns. It'd be better for the environment, but I yeah. will say I'm less social than you. I don't, <laughs> don't want to share my yard with fucking anyone. I want the other kids to stay the fuck out of my yard. And same then here. Same, same exact same, same here. here. Okay. I mean, I get it. I yeah. mean, I have lots of lots of yard. Yeah. I just wish that I didn't have to take care of it right now. <laughs> like it's, it's I'm, I'm running out of time to do it. I I never I never cared before. I I have noticed this weird transition as I'm getting a little older, where like yeah. I there's all retired dudes just more around time. me. Sure. Well, or not, just not more even care. more time, just more yeah. care. Just a thing where it's like uh, when I first moved in, the yard was terrible, uh, just dirt patches, and, and and I just and I was like, why are these people around me? Why do they care so much about their lawns? <laughs> why? I remember, I remember a whole talk about dandelions, and I was just like, well, this guy's nuts. Right. Well, right it's now after dandelion. a couple of lawn treatments and, uh-huh. and some reseeding uh, and new sprinkler kind of system configuration and tweaking, my yard so lush. So green, no dandelions. And I had a moment just like a couple of days ago where I looked at my neighbor's yard, the one who gave me the dandelion talk. And his oh. yard looks nice. Mm-hmm. But I looked at mine and I'm like, mine's fucking better. I guess who wins now? No one else cares. Buford? Yeah. What's his name? Is it Buford? It's, it's Jim. Oh. Well, it's Jim. Fine. Jim and Barb, they have a great lawn. Okay. But it's not as good as not mine. Not as good as yours? I mean, that, that does feel good. And I, I'm, a, I'm for taking ch- care of mm-hmm. your, your landscaping. Right. I just wish it never would have been this way. I, I get it. Like no, I'm get fine, it. but there's, I yeah. wish we would have gone a different way. Because tending True. to a nice, beautiful garden that actually pr- provides food for the yeah. neighborhood and mm-hmm. your family seems like a good way. To, if everybody had a garden, it's mm-hmm. a lot of food. That is a lot of food. It's a ton of food. But that could feed a lot of people. Who's going to can it? Because I'm not going to eat all that fresh nonsense. And who's going to fuck that asparagus? Want, who's going to fuck that asparagus? Who's going to fucking can it, put it on a shelf for a couple years, so then my body feels comfortable digesting it? Hmm. Like, That's, who's, who's going to fill it up with stuff? <laughs> Who's gonna put sugar and fats in this beat? Uh, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm my body, that. my body thrives on high fructose corn syrup <laughs> and preservatives. Right. And if you take that away from me, I'll probably die. <laughs> you could. I could. It's only one way to find out. <laughs> uh, you'll die while you know working on your lawn. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you're dumb. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Let's move on and look at other dumb people with our segment: dumb, dumb idiots. Boom. <laughs> This first one sent our way as I talked about uh, towards the front where it was around that one part where I got really self-conscious. Right. It's right around that area. Um, okay. I'm, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Okay. I just wanna, it's the last time I promise I'm going to okay. 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 But it's around that moment where I said a lot of dummies did send in the content this week. Yeah. And Brandon Barger okay. sent in this one. Uh, go ahead and bring it up on the screen here, Zach. I don't know how she thought she was going to get away with this, um, <laughs> but it is, it is crazy. So Texas woman... Pretends that Ford F-250 is hers and has it towed to her home. That is hilarious. It's exactly Some, what you think. Oh, it's, they are, man, they're nice. I mean, I, I'm a Ford, right. Ford driver, so I love them, but they're a nice looking truck. Right. So uh, the article goes on to say, we've all seen at least one vehicle in our lifetimes that we wished was ours. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was a cool car or truck. Cool cars and trucks. Mm-hmm. We have that business down the street, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Sitting in a parking lot somewhere or just a general new vehicle that you lust after. Oh. But at the same time, these wishes remain just that. Wishes, at least until we're in a position to actually buy said vehicle. I, have, I, I get that. I have a wish. I'm not going to get into 2020 murdered out black uh, Ford Raptor. <laughs> that, okay. Cherry did just, when just those, maxed out. Those come up behind me. I, I almost <clears> just <throat> want to pull over out of respect. Mm-hmm. I get, they're a little it's scared. Beautiful. They look like an evil face on the front. Mm-hmm. And I just want to get out of their they're, way. They're a masculine. They're above me on the human oh, human chain. They're great. Cha- ca- chain of command. They're top. <laughs> they're up there. <laughs> they're, the apex, they're the apex predator apex they are. of vehicles. <laughs> yeah, they're Raptors. Uh, but that wasn't the case with this woman in Laredo. Or Laredo. Laredo, sorry, Texas, recently who simply decided to have a Ford F-250 that belongs to someone else towed to her house. That's one way to get it there. <laughs> one <laughs> would get what she wants, I suppose, but it isn't exactly uh, you know legal to do it this way. According to local news source LMT Online, it all went down when a man called police to report a stolen vehicle. Yeah. He noticed that his white rental Ford F-250 had been stolen at 8.05 in the morning. Luckily, a witness had seen the whole thing go down and told police that the Super Duty was picked up by a tow truck overnight. Wow. The Rado Police Department investigators took over the case and were quickly able to contact the tow company and figure out what had happened. Apparently, a woman called them and asked to have the Ford Super Duty towed to her residence, claiming that she owned it. The tow company obliged, obviously, or else we wouldn't be reading the wow. story. 
Uh, the woman was quickly arrested and charged with theft of property and what might be one of the dumber crimes we've heard of lately. Apparently, she didn't think that anyone would put the two and two together to figure out a little mystery, which was a terrible assumption, but at least it gives us a new and somewhat humorous method of vehicle theft to laugh at. Wow, that I mean, that is just... um. That's pretty. That's pretty ballsy and pretty, yeah. and pretty stupid. Just to th- like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, in, in a different world where I guess there was no security cameras and different things. I mean, sure. kind of ingenious to basically make this this tow truck company an accessory where you could just like you could just start doing it all the time. I don't have just, the keys. Okay, gotta go uh, get, just, pick it up. I mean, I guess if you'd have to get a different tow truck company because it's the same tow truck driver is like, this is your sixth car <laughs> I've towed here this week, and, and all the ones he's already towed are or just like, l- sitting in the mm-hmm, same place. He mm-hmm. put them in your house. Uh, that's yeah. weird. I'll do it though. Do, I'll do it. I mean, two hundred fifty bucks, or I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you a car. But what? But to but to yeah, to invite a third party mm-hmm. into the theft into your scheme. Yeah, that's a weird. But what a weird way! I wish the world. It'd be kind of a funny way to, to mm-hmm. if it worked this way. It's just some giant game of like capture the flag, where if you were able to get the then, item onto your property, like now it's yours. Ah, you, but like there's rules. Like once you're on that side of the line, you can't you know you can't take it back. That'd be kind of a fun <laughs> world to be in. I mean, it'd be fun if you're if you're getting things. Yeah, you'd have it'd to be, be the, the worst world if you were the constant victim. To be people like, God dang it! I'll be better at the game. I'm fucking busy, and I don't have time for this game. And, and people are to, just constantly taking your shit. You have to go to like a a, a jail that's in a little spray painted circle. If like you get caught <laughs> crossing the line and grabbing stuff, right, right. Yeah, you can't break the rules. Especially you gotta, your, your, your next door neighbor taking all your things and just constantly <laughs> like he's just so good at the game. Ah. Like, oh. <laughs> and you have to look at the things he's taken. Yeah. God, that's my, he was my truck a week ago. You're a little kid playing catch, and the ball like goes over into the neighbor's yard. I'm like, oh. like just never get it back. That's it. That's the end of it. Your kid goes to get the ball, and then the neighbor just takes your kid. Right. You're like, oh, fuck. Oh, he's got my truck. He's got my kid. Sometimes that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. You win crumbles. some, you lose some. That's what I always say when it comes to kids. Uh, do you know anybody, or have you even been caught, yeah. like blatantly red-handed, no wiggle room uh, for stealing something? <laughs> like anything along those lines i yeah pre- pretty bad um i i ran so i didn't get in trouble but okay. he, but he couldn't have caught me again stupid adolescent uh just dickhead you know a little uh you know delinquent uh-huh <laughs> and and there was this when i lived for a couple years in las vegas my dad there was this apartment complex we lived in and they had a snack machine in like the um there was the the main administration i guess little building right that had like the, a laundry room and had a snack machine and had where the pool was and the office for getting leases and all that kind of stuff right and the snack machine it was one of those you know like old school with the coils right you put the coins in it's but and we figured out that if we got a stick and with our skinny little like you know teenage arms <laughs> we could reach up and just knock things off of all of the coils and right. we, we yeah. would just get so much candy and we did it so often they put up a huge sign Please, whoever's Quit. doing it, stop stealing from the vending machine. Like, <laughs> like they were fair, which made us just laugh. Yeah, you're like, oh, you're reading it while you're yep. sticking, so, sticking secu- sticks up there. Security guard uh, knew that we were little punks who stole stuff all the time. Would keep an eye on us, and so we're in there one time, and I, and I would have. It looked suspicious because it was warm. This is Vegas, and I had a big starter jacket yeah. to hide all the stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I got like I wanted all these chips. I must have had 15, 20 little snack bags of various Doritos, Fritos, all that kind of uh-huh. thing. Stuff it in my jacket, <laughs> and then we finish before he comes in. Walk out the door. He's right there, uh-huh. and he just straight up asked us. He's like, "Were you guys stealing from the vending machine?" What? And I tried. <laughs> I tried to act indignant, and I forgot to hold the coat. And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And all these <laughs> chips just fucking pour out of my coat. It's like a movie scene. Like a movie scene. Ooh. <laughs> and <laughs> <Hold on>. <laughs> <laughs> yep. hey, Sorry about ha. that. <laughs> Your problem now, Bucko. <laughs> and, and and we just exchange. He just sees all the chips fall. We exchange that quick, like, uh, uh-huh. you caught me. And then I just went like, pew. <laughs> and then just took off running. Right. And then like he didn't actually know my name or what unit I lived in. Yeah. And that's the only reason I got away. That's pretty good. But caught me, yeah, with all the chips. Mine uh, I had one that involved food too. And it wasn't even a big deal, but I did get it was so blatant I had nowhere to go. Um, but it was in the lunch line at school. Okay. Uh me and my buddies, you know, growing boys, you're always hungry. We can only get <laughs> right. so many things at the thing. Sure. So for a long time we would always get a turkey sandwich. Okay. But then that was first in line. You'd grab the turkey, and then as you move down the line, you'd undo the turkey sandwich, then you'd grab the chicken nuggets, and then you'd put them in the turkey sandwich, uh-huh. and then you smash it shut. Okay. So it looked like it was just the turkey sandwich. <laughs> right? Sure. We did this for weeks and weeks and weeks, maybe a whole year. But then one time, <laughs> I don't know if she must have saw me, dude, but I got down to the entrance. She goes, just turkey sandwich? And I was like, yep. She goes, that's it? 
Like just to, and like just a turkey <laughs> sandwich. And she's like giving me a chance. Uh huh. To turn yourself like, yeah. in. I was like, that's yeah, it. Just a turkey sandwich. She goes, did you get like double meat or anything? I'm like, nope. Just a <laughs> just a turkey sub. And she reaches over and opens it up, and all my chicken nuggets are smashed in there. <laughs> and I was like, e. No, she goes. You know, I was like, I'm sorry. She goes, sorry. Don't, don't do it again. That Hilarious. Was it. Yeah, let me go. But there was nothing. Yeah. She gave me a chance. You nailed. Gave me a chance to get out. But nope. like I said, it's nope. just imprinted, just smushed right into the bun. Oh. That was a pretty good tactic. You yeah. Gotta, yeah. yeah. No, it exactly. Me. It worked for a long time. It did. Got away with some shit. Yeah. Uh, all right. This next one is uh, was sent in by dummy Joe Malloy, who okay. is actually uh, a buddy of mine. Okay. But he sent this in and it is so insane that uh, I had to, and I, I still 100% don't know if it is totally real. Right. However, a lot of news okay. sites were reporting it. I just didn't see it on anything like gigantic, uh-huh. but a lot of ones that had other, other like so, normal news did have this story. So this, this is story. so dumb it may not even be real, but, yeah. but as far as you know, it is real. Yeah, as far okay. as I know. And you'll not be surprised to know that it came out of Florida. <laughs> of course. Okay. Uh, Zach, go ahead and bring it up on the screen. Homophobic man shoots doctor for making him orgasm during a prostate exam. <laughs> I saw this pop up on something Did you? too. Yeah, uh, I I looked into it again. Like I I didn't <sighs> find anything that said no. Uh, what? But nobody likes going to the doctor, especially for prostate exams. But we don't hold that against the doctors themselves. Then again, we're not from Florida. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and one man from the Sunshine State didn't like how his appointment with the MD went down, and he shot him. Let's back up. The patient's name is Milo, oh, Milo Johansson, uh-huh. and is a car salesman in Jacksonville. There's your problem right there. Car salesman, am I right? Uh, <laughs> hey, I just, we, I just we, want to keep our whole car salesman 30%, audience. 30% of our audience is car salesman. <laughs> There's only 3% left <laughs> from that, that opening. But, but, but the opening yeah. screw up, and then with the uh, aggressive denouncement of car salesman, oh, there was man. no one listening. <laughs> Uh, the dude's beef, his doctor, Dr. Smith, gave him an orgasm during a prostate exam. Apparently, this isn't unusual. The prostate is like a male G-spot, and it carries semen. And it's very sensitive, so when it's touched and massaged, you get an orgasm almost with no effort, what? Dr. Smith experienced, or explained. Johansson is said to be deeply homophobic, though, so he must have felt, uh, you know, unmoored when he accidentally shot his wad during the exam. What? I understand that Milo was shocked by what happened to him. An orgasm meant something sexual had taken place between us. Then he became very aggressive, Dr. Smith said. Uh, Johansson ordered the doctor to apologize and say no homo. No, See, that's where it seems I was like, like fake. I was yeah. like, this is too much. But then a lot of places reported on it. And I was like, what is this stuff? <laughs> uh, but I, what you I got to say no homo. You gotta, like, that's just like, it's ridiculous, right? As, as I picture him, like, as he's grabbing a paper towel <laughs> and literally wiping his cum off the floor. So, come on, say no homo. Say it. Say, Say you it, motherfucker! <laughs> Say it for me. Uh, but this got me thinking about just like how insecure you have to mm-hmm. be with your sexuality to get to a point where something <laughs> like that happens. That is a total medical yeah. uh, procedure, and now, like that happens, and you're so fucking pissed. I've had my prostate examined, and you it, still you still owe me money for that. <laughs> hey, hey, coming on, yeah, back. come on. <laughs> um, but I, I just I just don't understand. Like, how long was he in there for him to come? I guess maybe some people are more sensitive than others. They, they must be. Pushed it. Boop, boop, boop. I guess, yeah, pushed it. Because I did not, I didn't have that reaction. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wasn't like, <laughs> It was more like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, I, yo. Easy, buddy. That is, that was faster than I thought was going to happen. What's the whole, what's the dad line, the famous one? <laughs> oh, aren't you going to take me out to dinner first? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I got it reminded me of uh, one of my favorite quotes from the show Shameless, which a lot of people have seen. Oh, yeah. Uh, where the dad, uh, Gallagher, which mm-hmm. is for, for, for his name, but he said, um, if God didn't want, want you shoving stuff in your butt, he would have gave it a gag reflex. <laughs> and I, I think about that so much. <laughs> it's so funny to me. <laughs> okay. That's a really funny show. Uh, but this this story, again, reminded me of one which we didn't, we didn't release. Yeah. I thought about maybe bringing it back because this was in the beta episode. Uh-huh. But it's we can just talk about it right now. The, the gist okay. of the concept was that this this university did a study yeah. that showed that men are less likely to recycle just mm-hmm. in general because oh. they consider it to be gay. <laughs> right, right. Just the <laughs> just, weird examples of homophobia. Like what? Right. You're not gonna that like that's the dumbest connection you could possibly have. I wish. Like, I, <sighs> is he standing there like same situation? Yeah. He's standing there. He has a chance to throw the can in the blue bin. He's like, nah, no homo. Like, right. Nope. nope it, don't like this. That, that is such a weird thing. I remember, um, I mean, a long time ago when I had like both my ears pierced in just like a small area. Sure. Like some people just like, especially kind of rednecky people. Uh-huh. It's like, well, are you, are you gay or something? It's like, are you, what the fuck is wrong with you? 
Like, what made you come to that you conclusion, just, you idiot? You just saw me. You just noticed that I have another earring, yeah. as opposed to noticing that I have a dick in my mouth. Like, <laughs> it's like a, it's that. A, it's would a be common like, mistake. What are, you, what are you gay? And then, and then yeah, you take the dick out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why I had this in my mouth. Yeah, you can clearly see. One second, <clears throat> I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> if you can come back in a few minutes, <laughs> spit on your hand. But yeah, but it, and just like it's a weird thing that people. I don't know. I yeah. guess just for me in my own little echo chamber. Yeah, I, I, I'm just always uh, surprised in 2020. Yeah, that anyone still cares that it even exists at all. Right, that it has like a negative connotation. Yeah, that's like who, who cares? Yeah, exactly. Like, so anyway, fucking, I, I saw that story, and whether it was dumb or not, it reminded yeah. me enough of just like yeah. <laughs> just be you know you can like what you like. Right, like what you like. You don't have to just calm down. I, I bet that if and that, that story's that, true, right? If that story is true, my read is the guy who shot the doctor. If that happened, is a repressed homosexual, and he's so angry, he's pushed it down uh-huh. that that's why he he is so aggressive about like people can't think I'm gay. I would think maybe there was a dad or something, but a lot of times I remember a, a buddy of mine in college who came out like right before college said that he was the most homophobic person oh, in high school, and I've heard that yeah. story numerous times. Yeah. Trying to compensate, yeah, trying, trying to deflect, to please, or like mm-hmm. uh, maybe their parents didn't approve, right. so he has to try and, and push mold it down. To that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, totally. Um, okay. Well, mm-hmm. that was definitely not the dumbest thing, and I'm so excited to show you. I know. I'm excited to see this because you dumbest were, thing you were hinting about it earlier. This, uh, I, I lost it for a while. So it's one of the dumbest things you've ever seen. Yeah, it is. Let's go to apocalypse pending. It's the apocalypse. This was sent our way by dummy Amanda. Okay. And this is, uh, it's a video, and the video has no sound. Okay. So we're just going to talk over and narrate it. I'm not sure exactly why it doesn't have sound. Okay. Uh, there might have been uh, some sort of but you, legal you, thing. That you've they never uploaded. seen it with sound, so it, no, it's not exactly. going to miss anything. Right, okay. exactly. So uh, go ahead and bring it up on the screen here, Zach. And again, we'll post these links in the episode description. Okay. Uh, this is a lady. Just ready. As you can see, she's at a, a gas pump. At the gas pump. At the gas pump. Got Kro- the car there. Got the Kroger gas pump. Right. And then we're going to push play. Mm-hmm. She's and walking around. She's wearing a work smock. Okay. She's just fresh off work. Let you uh, take a little peek at this. Uh-huh. Somebody's filming her from inside of their car, so it's something uh, might have happened before here. Yeah, so that's filming a, her. Yeah, that's a plastic oh, bag full of gasoline. Oh my god! This lady has gone to the what? gas pump, and instead of using a gas can, she's just filling up. Oh, and then it leaks. Now it's leaking. Now she's she's put another bag. She's double bagging her gasoline bag. It's just a normal <laughs> grocery bag, and she's filling it up with it's gasoline. It's a plastic grocery bag that she has filled with, like, she has, like, about a gallon of gas in there. Uh-huh. Oh. And then she's trying to tie it off. Bring it over. And put it in the back of her car, where it's going to get fucking everywhere. <laughs> no, she's putting it in, like, a third bag. I'm not positive, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that gasoline will eat through certain types of plastic. That's what I was thinking. And she just loads uh, them in like it's milk and uh, bread. Ah! And it's not even, and it's, she's not putting it in like a box or something that will contain right. it. There's nothing. She's just setting it down there. It's definitely going to spill everywhere. Uh, yeah, 100% going to be an absolute disaster. Why? How could you ever think that was a good idea? And what does she need a bag of gas for? What situation? Where are you that you, you would ever think right. that, I mean, maybe you've just never done it. Like there are people that maybe if you have the first time ever, they have to go mow the lawn and they just don't right. know like how to start the lawnmower. But any but, liquid, <laughs> forget gas. Yeah, you've just never seen a liquid before. I don't you've know. Just never, and that lady looked like she was about, I don't know, 50, 60 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has to work. She's, she's, uh, she's, she, and she um, is at the pump there. She knows, she's smart enough to know how to like get gas. Yes. She's made you know, it there. She knows where the gas is. She looks to be on her own. Because if lo- someone else was with mm-hmm. her, they probably would have stopped her. Right. She's, uh, she's driven there. She's going to get back mm-hmm. in her car. She knows how to drive. But she doesn't know how liquid works. <laughs> she doesn't get it. <laughs> like, it's like the, um, you get a tiny like, bit of gasoline. That's like something a three-year-old would do. Yeah, maybe. They might be right. too smart and be like, this bag's not the right thing. Right. For this gasoline. That's like, like even like a little kid. Like, what, like, little kid is like, like, they're thirsty? Yeah. No, Dad, can you put some water in a bag for me? <laughs> for to drink? You bring a bag of water for me? Can go you put, sweep? put some water in the bag for me? <laughs> What? Like a Capri Sun? No, just a plastic bag. I just picture saying to a little kid, hey, you want some water in a bag? No, I just, a bag would spill out. Can you put right. it in my sip a cup? <laughs> right. Yeah, you the get it. The logic would be there. <laughs> right, you get it. Right, right, right you get it. You're not like this lady. Uh, <laughs> I, what if she, I picture her in the store, yeah. like just whistling around, you know, mm-hmm. grabs the milk, undoes it, and mm-hmm. then just pours the milk jug into a plastic bag. <laughs> That's just the way she lives her life. I just want to go to her house, and I just picture every (laughs) fucking liquid thing 
is grocery bags. What's orange juice? It's just <laughs> grocery bags and stuff. And in the- <laughs> inside the refrigerator is so many groceries, and it's fucking. It stinks. <laughs> shit has spilled everywhere. Yeah. She has plants around the house, uh-huh. just in dirt in grocery bags yeah. that she waters in there. Her like toilet is just, <laughs> just a giant <laughs> grocery bag full of pee and, <laughs> and poop. Yep, she just has her toilet. It's just like, yeah, just a, a, a contraption, where th- like a garbage can. You yeah. put the grocery bags on, uh-huh. and then she just pisses and shits into the grocery bag. Yep. Everything is fucking bags. Everything's bagged up for her. She has some very specific mental condition where it's just like bagaritis. <laughs> she, she just containers to, just scare the shit out of her. It's like an OCD. You have to bag everything. Mm-hmm. She hates like uh, like strong angles on stuff. <laughs> but even then, she could use a cylinder, so mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what's happening. I guess I tried to make up a fake fear, and then I even I debunked it. She'd be great for safe sex. Oh, she'd bag it every time. Oh, loves the condoms. Oh, she'd love quadruple it. bag mm-hmm. it. She'd bag it so much your dick would be thicker. Mm-hmm. Like that's how <laughs> many condoms would go on. You there. wear several condoms. She has various female condoms. Mm-hmm. It just it's just. <laughs> it's, it's just plastic on plastic. It's the wet balloon kind of situation. <laughs> I just picture. I just picture for the safe sex, it's actually, she has a grocery bag <laughs> that you rubber band to your dick, and then she takes another grocery bag uh-huh. and puts that in her vagina, yeah. and so that crinkle, it's like, <laughs> the plastic bag noise. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> you know how bad, like, just a tiny bit of gas right. is. Like, if you get a, mm-hmm. a drop of gas on your hand, filling up yep. gas or whatever it is, and then you get in your car, yeah. like, you're, you sell, like, that smells like gas for a long time. A long time. So a whole... A grocery bag full of gasoline in your trunk? That spills uh, out? All of it is spilling That's out. It. All you of gotta, it spilling out. You gotta burn the car. You have to go and just drive yourself like that whole car has to go off a cliff. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what her plan was, but mm-hmm. I know it didn't work. Nope. And le- unless her plan was to burn her car down. <laughs> That's it. That's the only plan that would have worked with that. If she was going to, like she was off to a terrorist attack. Mm-hmm. That's the only way that this was a even remote That's a bad idea. That's the only way even mm-hmm. this would be uh something that would make sense. Just what? douse her whole car in gasoline. Well, she just likes to huff gas. She has a gas addiction. That's it. That's and, that's, and that's that's her delivery method. She likes to like layer the back seat. I didn't know, officer. I didn't. Oh no, uh, lady. This is the fifth time we've pulled you over with with gasoline in your trash bag <laughs> or your, your grocery bags. I sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> did, did you know that you're driving the wrong way down the freeway? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm so high on gas. Are you kidding me? I can barely see. <laughs> I, I fucking huffed two gallons of gas today. I can't uh, believe I, I don't even know I was in a car. Right. Who are you? Who are you? Are you an alien? Are we on Mars? Right. Uh, but that, that, yeah, that's crazy. Crazy. I've never seen that. I don't think I ever will again. Crazy. But I'm glad that it came across, or it came across that. And thanks again to Dummy Amanda for, yeah. uh, for sending that our way. All right, let's take a look at our one star heroes. Yes. I get no respect in real life. Always am upset. So I let them know I hate them on the internet. Yeah. yeah. All right, Danny boy. Okay. What you got? Today we're talking about Breaking Bad. Ooh. Now, whether, whether you've seen Breaking Bad or not, whether you like it or not, it is, as I will say here, about halfway through the one star reviews, I will point out some facts. It okay. is one of the best reviewed, if not the best reviewed television show of all time. It legitimately changed the way that uh, television or mm-hmm. series were presented. Like, yep. And binged, you yep. know, like that, and serialized. How they were released, how mm-hmm. they were shot. I mean, there were some good shows. Yeah. But this was an extra game level changer. Of, of writing. Yeah, I watched it, I watched it once, uh, the whole, by myself. Mm-hmm. Lindsay and I started dating, watched the whole thing all over again. Yeah. Uh, so I went to Amazon. One of my like, favorites of all time, too. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I went to Amazon, you know, and uh, I'm like, I wonder what people are saying about Breaking Bad. Okay. And you know, the reviews are really good. Is uh, you know, like this. For, this is just a uh, one thing. Four point eight out of five. Right. If you go to all the various seasons, they're all in that same kind of ballpark. Looking pretty good. Looking real good. Looking really, really good. We're gonna start with two. They're back to back. Emilio, one star. Not for me. And I just love this. <laughs> right. This is so unnecessary. Recommended by my granddaughter, but not my cup of tea. Huh. I was all excited when I read reviews, but this type of show is not for me. Huh. I like a good mystery or police drama, <laughs> but too much violence and the premise of the show really turned me off. If the premise turned you off, why are you fucking watching it? Why are you going on and writing a review about it? Right? It's just not, it didn't work out for you. You know how the internet works? Because yeah. you were able to go to Amazon and leave a review. Oh, so, huge jazz fan. Huh? Uh, so this Disturbed album really didn't cut it for me. <laughs> right. Ooh, wha- uh, uh, uh. This wasn't my cup of tea. <laughs> I just I don't understand that when someone's yeah. like they it's not that they're the thing that they're watching or listening to or reading or whatever or a genre done poorly a, f- a fan of they're not right. even a fan of it they don't like that genre and so it's like it, all every single time in that instance why would you ever give a review no. it, it's it's like hating Mexican food mm-hmm. going to a Mexican restaurant 
somehow by accident, thinking it was an Italian restaurant, because like a, a friend blindfolded you, right? Right. Somehow like you some ended up weird there. scenario, yeah. and you're like, I mean, they for what they do, they, they did a great job, but I'm just not a fan of, just, of that kind of food. Uh, uh, I don't uh, like tacos. Uh, uh, restaurant? No, Mexican food altogether. <laughs> right. It's not right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, and then there's almost the identical review um, underneath it. Uh, not for me. Hmm? By Lord Have Mercy. Lord Have Mercy. We were looking for a series to watch during the winter months. I have to say that the writing is very good. It is. Though the subject matter is just not something I want to have in my head. <laughs> just not my style. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Oh my God. Uh, now, I... <laughs> <sighs> I didn't look at the comments, actually, and now I'm kind of curious. What somebody said? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Um... <laughs> Okay, it's uh, opening up mind. a whole other. It's opening up a whole other. Yeah, thing. Whole I, I, wormhole. I, I'll, I'll skip to the next one. Okay, because I, I didn't even I, I didn't notice that was the first time. Okay. Okay. So this next one is uh this is my favorite when somebody goes to a show that they like, and, and it, it's just because of this level of critical acclaim, they think they know how to do it better than the writers. The, okay. The writing has been, again, like so heralded, and I'll yeah. and I'll show that here in just a second. He says, started off good. He's he's reviewing specifically the last season here, season five started yeah. off good. Uh. But finished poorly, another good story that picked a cliched ending as opposed to one that would have been truly remarkable. Oh, well, maybe I need to be a writer. Hmm. Uh-huh. And I, then... Any... Okay. Maybe I need to be the writer. Jesus. Uh, that is so just nonsense. So arrogant. Like, yeah, what are you doing? What are you talking about? You what don't do know you anything. Do? Why do you have to write that? Think that for a second and <laughs> yeah. be like, I'm just I'm fucking stupid. I'm stupid. I'm on my couch eating potato chips. And then, so I want to look, this is this is the critical response. You can just, you know, see, I'm going to read this from Wikipedia here. Okay. For the last season. On review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes, the fifth season has an approval rating of 97% <laughs> based on 97 reviews with oh. an average rating of 9.45 out of 10. Okay. The site's critic, uh, critical consensus reads, Breaking Bad's final season cements its status as one of television's greatest series propelling its narrative to an explosive conclusion with sharp direction and assured storytelling i.e. writing mm -hmm. and then check this out this is, blows me away on Metacritic it holds a 99 out of 100 unbelievable based on 22 reviews making it the highest rated season of any show <laughs> On the site. This on the, guy... On the planet. This guy is criticizing the highest <laughs> rated season of any show in fucking television history. Ever. Ever. And he's like, ah, maybe I should write it. Well, I, I, you know, they should have hired me. <laughs> <laughs> I would have taken that 99 uh, One. to 100. <laughs> uh, duh. Duh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, <laughs> this this is my the, the last one's going to be a really quick one. Okay, this, this is my favorite one. All right, and, and I'm going to have to clarify this one part because it'll be a little touchy, but expl I'll explain my reasoning. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll have the apology music ready. Okay, you have the apology music ready okay. for next week. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Amazon customer Blank says, "Please refund the order of Breaking Bad ordered in error. I'm watching Better Call Saul, which is the show that was made afterward. That is like the, yeah, the predecessor, spin the spinoff. Yeah. yeah, also good. By also the way. good. Uh." My daughter ordered this and selected Breaking Bad instead of My Wishes. I wanted season five of Better Call Saul. I'm totally handicapped and could not do the order myself, and she made a mistake as soon as it started playing, and I realized her error and immediately saw her error, and she backed it out and ordered the correct series. We need to reverse the... And then it just stops. <laughs> oh, man. What happened? <sighs> Is she okay? That's my she, first thought. What happened? Please, okay? I, need, I need a closure. I just, I don't like that he wrote the handicap. Because let's say he is yeah. handicapped in some real way. Mm -hmm. Well, you weren't too handicapped to write this fucking review. Right. And, right. and, and, and writing the review takes actually more effort yep. than buying the season. This was done in June 4, 24, 2020, which means it was a digital purchase. Yeah. It's such a quick click of the button. Yeah. And, and I understand, like, okay, you, you made a mistake, but then how, why would you do that here? Right. Exactly. This is the wrong, and, and, and if you had your daughter order it, then have your daughter fucking contact customer service. Right. No excuse. Yeah, 100%. It is absolutely absurd. Absurd. It is. It's crazy. To, yeah, and I, I, yeah, I wouldn't think you'd want to uh, lean on that a lot, right. too. Like, that's right. Like, I, I don't know like, a ton of, and again, I might be just talking on my ass. The yeah. disabled friends that I have or acquaintances yeah. that I have uh, hate having that as like a, an excuse mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. something like this. Right, exactly. I mean, there's plenty of other things that, yeah, it is yeah. definitely oh, yeah, a, an argument to bring up. But, but with this case, in this case, it's like, what are you, no, what are you doing here? It doesn't excuse like all behavior. Right, exactly. There, there, there was a comic in Seattle that, there was a comic in Seattle that um, had uh, uh, some some kind of 
brain situation. I don't know if it was damaged. I don't know if it was from birth. And so okay. he legitimately was like, uh, he had a, a mental handicap. Okay. But he was smart enough to get around, do things, and also smart enough to know when he was doing something wrong. Exactly. And right. he would be a horrific asshole. Like okay. say the things that would make people cry. Mm -hmm. And then when they got mad back at him, he would immediately go to like, oh, you're going to pick on a handicapped person. Yeah. See, it's that, like, fuck you. Yeah, that that's... Don't use that bullshit crutch. Don't do it. Doesn't give you a reason to be just a fucking piece of shit. It doesn't. It uh, really doesn't. You yeah. can't do that. So, so here's the, the last one. I... <laughs> This is quick. Maybe it just cracked me up, but it just made me laugh so hard. <laughs> okay. I don't know why they couldn't just erase this. Last one. One star from Scott Stransky. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he just went up a one star for this. He just wrote, ah, never mind. <laughs> Bleh. Sorry. Sorry. Forget it. Anyway, I'm talking. Never mind. Just close the tab. <laughs> da, 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 da. You don't have to push. You don't confirm. Have to, you don't have to hurt the rating system. <laughs> right. I, I know Forget he, about it. Never mind. I know. Never mind. Boop, boop. See you next time. <laughs> uh, I, I do wish that he wrote yeah. out a very intricate... Uh, review yeah, yeah. like explained all of his points correctly on why it was a one star mm -hmm. and then he just went <sighs> just deleted it never mind <laughs> and then submit right that's i mean i wish that was but i don't think that's yeah. the case no that's he the just case. came in and fucking did that oh <laughs> people <laughs> yeah people for sure but there are also uh good people out there yeah, yeah and actually and that's an important thing to point out without these one stars right like in this one uh you know out of a uh, 10,458 global ratings on right. just the one season, 4.8 out of 5, 92% of the people, five stars. Yeah. So the overwhelming, these are the exceptions to the rule. Right. A lot of which people, is a good thing to, to remind people of. Yeah, they see the they see the genius in what is, was Breaking Bad. Yep. And again, yep. if you don't like it and it's just not your thing, right. then yeah, that's fine. I just, it's, not, it's not for you. But if yeah. you watch it and then get pissed that it's just like not what you thought right. it was going to be, yeah. but it was done like the best of a thing you hated. Right. <laughs> like, then that's then that's one thing. I just I mean, if, if, like, it's, if it's your thing to be like like if you want to be a critic, I guess, or you're a television connoisseur, mm -hmm. and and you're willing to leave like a kind of like longer review, I, I get that. I yeah. get like one star is kind of like whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying like don't ever do it. And I get subjective tastes, uh, you know, like it's art or whatever. You have your right to do it. Yep. It's just the snide stuff that kills me or the flippant or the obvious examples when they put in the review where like clearly they're not upset about it's not the show's fault. Yeah, it's their fault. Sure. Those are the one stars like they kill me. Yeah. Now, if you go to a restaurant, whatever, even if it's a great restaurant and somebody and like they're all just like dicks to you. Mm -hmm. OK, then yeah. I, I get it. Yeah, sure. For sure. I get it. But it, but if it's clearly you, not them, like going to a sushi uh, restaurant and then not like in sushi. Right, exactly. Before you even I went. I didn't have even one kind of pizza. They had no what, hamburger. What kind of sushi restaurant is this? <laughs> exactly. It reminds me of the saying of uh, that we've kicked around a little bit was grind respects grind. So if yes. you, if you yes. look at that, mm -hmm. even if it's not your thing, it's right. not your cup of tea. Yeah. If you can still see the amount of work yep. and the amount of genius and like the art form for what it is, you yeah. would never give it a one star review. Absolutely. You, you just realize how good it is. It's not for you, yep. but you do respect how much effort went into the show. Exactly. Right. Exactly. That's easy to do as a human. You just have to fucking try. Yep. That's it. I like it. <laughs> I like it too. <laughs> so that was One Star Heroes. Yes. Uh, and again, yeah, if you want to send in any segment content for any of the stuff we're doing today, that is dumb at isbedumb.com. Always take a look at something that's going to make us a little happy. I like happy. Okay. Sliver of Hope. Sliver of Hope. I have a question. Oh, I thought I was like high five. I was like, what were you high fiving for? I have a question, Daniel. What's good? What's going on uh, uh, well with humanity? Oh, <laughs> well, uh, it maybe <laughs> this is good for a lot of people because it made me happy to okay, know that okay. there are people that are doing pranks in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. That are actually just really funny and creative and not mean. Uh, it's not mean at all. I mean, I get it. That would be kind of a nuisance, <laughs> but this story absolutely cracked me up. Okay. Uh, Zach, go ahead and bring it up on the on the screen here. So you got Belgian man <laughs> pranked with pizza deliveries for nine long years. <laughs> what? That, I, what? Why is Belgian nine not looking like years. a years? That's how you spell Belgian, right? Yeah, that's Belgian. Uh, yeah, I'm like losing my mind in here. It's, it's pronounced Belgian. Oh, uh, Belgian. <laughs> I was like, that is that Belgian? Is this, a, is this a country I've never heard of? I was losing my mind for a second. Uh, pizza deliveries for people who, <laughs> who don't know it. Uh, it's an oldie, but a goodie. I hadn't uh -huh. heard of it. I mean, maybe like one time, but not like this. Okay. An oldie but a goodie when it comes to pranks. But if, <laughs> but if what you were pranked for nine years and constantly sent pizza <laughs> that you didn't years. order or want nine years, it started nine years ago. Uh, Van Linger, uh, what's that? Land, Landingham, Landingham, yeah, uh, Landingham. Yeah. I'm going that said suddenly a pizza delivery man handed me a whole load of pizzas 
but I hadn't ordered anything. <laughs> Sometimes pizzas, sometimes kebabs, no matter what was brought, the orders just kept on coming. He assumed it was just a mix-up, but after a while realized it had to have been on purpose and even maliciously so. I cannot sleep anymore. See, this part got me a little bit. Uh, yeah. But again, it's just pizzas. He'll get over it. <laughs> I start shaking every time I hear a scooter on the street. I dread that someone will come to drop off hot pizzas yet another time. He was quoted as saying, uh, it can't be on a weekday or during weekends. Uh, at any time of the day, the yes. orders come from delivery services, you know, in turnout, but also from the surrounding areas. And I've even had orders delivered to me at two o'clock in the morning. See, that would be a nuisance. That, that would, would be, be annoying. Yeah, two in the morning. But again, on. no one's getting hurt right now. And nothing is coming out of his pocket, as it says right here. The best of the bad situation is that Van Lanigan uh, doesn't owe anything out of pocket for the deliveries, although he does pay in headaches and sleep. The restaurant's faces the repercussions, however. So I guess there is a little loss there. Wow. I've always refused the deliveries. So I've never paid for anything, he stated. But at one point in January of last year, 10 different deliveries reported showed up at his door. <laughs> one for 14 pizzas. Uh, it cost them money, and they have to throw the food away. Oh. On the day the 10 deliveries showed up, I did the math. It cost $510. What? The weird details don't stop there. A friend of mine who lives in Herenthout, about 13, or 17 miles away, is going through exactly the same thing as I am. What? She has been receiving pizza that she has not ordered for nine years. Someone who, <laughs> someone who knows both of them. Nine years. He continues suggesting the prankster is likely a mutual acquaintance. Sure. Sometimes we both get them on the same day. When that happens, we warn each other of the expected delivery. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I read this. And it, it so made much me, effort. It, yes. Just sticking to a dumb thing. For that long. For nearly a decade. Like just gave me a little bit of a little bit of hope. Like that's like that's a that's a funny thing that is going on that's not super mean. Right. No one's getting hurt. You know it's somebody that's their friend. Or I wonder if it's someone they made mad nine years ago. <laughs> yeah. A like, pizza delivery guy? Like, like they're not they're not telling the whole story where it's like uh they He knows exactly they, why he's right, right. Like they <laughs> slept together behind somebody else's back and that person <laughs> has been ordering pizzas to both of them. But like yeah. what a very specific it makes me think about like um sometimes I had like these fantasies where if you just have like a lot of money, uh -huh. what you would do just for silliness. Mm -hmm. Of just like um, doing something super nice, but to a stranger, but doing this so often for so long that it just freaks somebody out. Where it like, just gets a little weirder like and weirder. The core thing is really nice. Uh huh. I was just picturing paying to have flowers delivered <laughs> right. to a stranger yeah. for every single day and just see, and just do it for years. For nine years. I mean, I mean, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of flowers. It's a lot of flowers. Mm -hmm. But like, just how much would that fucking weird you out? I mean, first for a while. At first, like, oh my God, who gave me these flowers? Somebody loves me. Right. Four years in, you're, you're playing. If, Am I gonna even, move? even one weekend. Oh, yeah, exactly. But I'm saying, oh yeah, four years in, you're like losing crazy. your mind. The whole house is just vases and bags of gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking of like how you would mentally react to that because I know like if like if my wife Lindsay got some flowers mm -hmm. at first, she'd be like, oh my god, like that's wow. so nice. Even if she don't know who it was, she's mm -hmm. like, huh, maybe it's like a fan or something. Okay, Second fine, day, I'll she's like, it. God, that's so weird. I got like flowers again. Yeah. Like a weekend, she's like, they, they fucking won't tell me. I've called the flower place. Mm -hmm. They refuse to tell me who got me the flowers. No idea. It's anonymous. Like a month in, what the fuck? Like she's talking to the police. Yeah. She's talking to the FBI. They're like, it's just flowers. We can't do anything about yeah, it. It's not that bad. Though. I'm hearing about, we're getting in fights. <laughs> I don't know who gave me the fucking flowers. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm tired of the fucking f I, like, accusations. Right. Like, you know, like you could, <laughs> you could ruin someone's life uh -huh. by just giving them flowers every day. Why not? Which I know is not sliver of hope. I know it's that I'm taking to a dark place. Right. I <laughs> and I know that this is not your typical right. sliver of hope. Yeah. But it is just... Um, interesting. It, like, in the context of sliver of hope... Yes. It just gave me the... Like, the hope the, to do some really nice pranks. Yes. Like, you don't have to just be a raging dickhead yeah. in this world to make you know do some pretty funny stuff. I don't oh, know. So it just kind of re-sparked a little, little kid in me. I got to do some pranks. This is inspired. I got to get, get more pranks going. Yeah. I mean, we <laughs> we brought this over. <sighs> we'll bring it over from... Uh, uh, it's like suck. Time Suck. Yeah. yeah. Secret Suck. Mm -hmm. Um which is, uh, you know, another podcast. It's actually a, a Patreon subscription podcast called Secret Suck. But somebody sent in this penny prank Yeah. where you start uh, just like your significant other yep. and you just put a, a penny out. Mm -hmm. And they start in common places, like yeah, on the, the kitchen counter, uh -huh. on the coffee table, like maybe on the, yeah. on the couch. And each day you just put them in a different spot. And, and the slowly spots get escalate it. more and more intricate. Yeah. So it's like one's in the fridge, like on top yeah. of the milk. Uh, one's yeah. on their pillowcase. Mm -hmm. One's on top of their phone. Right. One's on top of the phone charger. Right. Like all of their stuff. Once in their makeup, like inside of the inside, and exactly. he just waits for them. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And then if you want to, if you want to hold it out, keep going until they move out. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a freedom thing, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that to my wife when I get home. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> it is hey, fun. Please do the penny prank. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make sure you bandage up your face. You're gonna get whopped. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> just send pics, but I do uh, love the penny prank as well. I got. I got up my prank game. I know. 
Please do. Uh, all right, let's just go find some weird stuff. This is a segment called To You From Internet. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek, together, as a couple. To you, from internet. To you, from, from internet. internet. This one, uh, if you're watching on YouTube right now, the entire page is blurred for uh, for you. Because I, I can't show you. Okay. Um, but this was sent in uh, by a handful of people way early on, and I debated showing it, uh-huh. but people just keep sending it in that I, I got to show it now. Okay. Uh, this is a, a website called dickshare.com. Which uh, it's just professional dick pics, <laughs> so it's penises, <laughs> but done done really really what? well. Like this one over here is wearing some like sick rave shades and a leather jacket. What? Got one dressed up like Donald Trump. You got like a like a Nicki Minaj wiener. Oh my god! Look how much fun this is, and this is a whole gallery of fuck of sweet dick pics. That is genuinely well done. <laughs> Look at this cowboy hat one. <laughs> I like the orthodox <laughs> Jewish guy with the yeah. um. Oh, I can't think of the, what the curly hair on the sides. There's a term for that. Zach? Zach doesn't know. Oh, he's Zach, supposed to know. Zach, Zach is... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it's like the Hasidic Jewish... Anyway. Zach, oh Zach my knows God. everything. Uh, but anyway, it's just amazing <laughs> dick pictures. And if you're in for a Santa good time... Claus. Yeah. Santa Claus. This one has like a curly mustache. Like, look at that. <laughs> I know that. I know people right now are looking at it. It's just a bunch of blurred out stuff. Oh, um, my God. But again, the, the links will be in the... Um, episode description and that, then you can go check it out there that is yeah the, the, to have that thought first yeah i'm gonna dress up my dick like a doll mm-hmm. and and then to like do it and then like like a nice photo shoot they, they clearly use quality cameras they lighting kit yeah exactly and, and then put together a nice website yeah what is does it is it monetized can you can you buy anything from that website uh i mean there's bad there's probably be some t-shirts or something i didn't look it into it that yeah there's some mugs and some okay. shirts and okay. some hats yeah you can get some dick shirt uh, memorabilia, hilarious. But it's been um, yeah. Let's go. I'm, I'm click on the shop here really quick because I did pop in here. I remember just seeing cups. Let's see. Yeah, you get some stuff. Okay. Yeah, you... cups and there's the a sale on a, a blanket of professional dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I, now yeah. I'm going back to the last um uh thing about the flowers. Okay. And what if you just every day you sent your neighbor a new dickshire fucking dick cup <laughs> right exactly. for weeks your, ne- your next door neighbor because because th- that would be like so weird like Super why the weird. fuck am i getting so many dick c- mugs yeah, i'd call the police right first one first one i'm calling cops <laughs> just a weird get this out of my face oh just day after it's your day dick. after that's, day that's that's the plot twist well, that's the it's plot your twist. dick it's your that they're dick. dressing up that's probably then you probably get in trouble <laughs> But, it, but it's actually you. I don't know. And you're just heavily intoxicated, taking professional dick pics at night, and you wake up and it's your dick all dressed up on a cup. I wonder if it would be like illegal. I mean, you're just buying a product, mm-hmm. but you are. It's not illegal to send someone a gift. You're buying a legal thing, right? And send it someone like I'm sure it's harassment of some. Oh, s- it's got to be harassment. Yeah. yeah, especially if you send them like like porn, porn or yeah. whatever, like you know. giant dildos, giant dildos. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, you probably get in trouble. Probably get in trouble. Okay, Maybe you wouldn't get in trouble if it was sent to me. I'd have a blast. I'd be having sword <laughs> fights forever <laughs> with new swords every day. Yeah, sweet. Anyway, sweet. so everyone's that got that much money starts shipping me some gigantic dildos. Let me know. Funny. Uh, all right, one more thing that I okay. found for to you from internet this week. Okay, and this one was sent our way by dummy. Oh man, who sent it? I had it. Oh man, sorry man, I forgot your name. I oh, thought I put boy. it in the notes here. Um, but this is uh, a website. It's a guy on Instagram. Okay. That he, you, you send him for five dollars. You send him like an actual picture. Yeah, like a like a picture picture. Okay, and then he redraws it like a five year old <laughs> for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so you have you have this right here. So you, like this is right. a, a you know guy and a girl, and then he draws it like this. That does he? That is hilarious. Yeah, and then Wu Tang Clan family, and he you know redraws it like that. These people sitting in this couch. I love that this guy has an art account, and he's not very good. Yeah, it, he's just like it's his crayons, mm-hmm. and just like a, a third grade <laughs> ability <laughs> of, of art. Drawing. It has a following. I mean, he's got what four thousand? Is that what I saw? Yeah, four and a half thousand followers. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for supporting independent artistry. Oh, I thought he was kidding. He, no. This is like this is how he gets makes money. So it's called fillmyportraits.com, and that's Phil, what? like his name. P-H-I-L, my portraits, is how you can I find him on Instagram. I feel kind of bad now. I thought, it was, I thought he was doing this uh, as a joke. I, he could be. I mean, he has to be. There's no way that you would like, have, I mean, <laughs> unless, it, I mean, I haven't looked at videos to see if, like, you know, it's there's some sort of, uh, you know, underlying <laughs> ordeal here. But, you know, he draws uh, stuff. He goes he goes around and he draws stuff, man. Oh, so man. this was a, a guy standing in front of a wall with a pumpkin, and then he redraws it, uh, and you just look at it. 
It's not. It's, it's not good. No, it's terrible. Five bucks though. We should get one. Is there any pictures of him? Like I'm, I, I, I'm gonna feel terrible if there's like if you scroll down and it's like a, a seven year old. Uh, but I don't think so. Okay, you're I don't not think logged so. In. Okay, no, okay, yeah, I'm not okay. logged in. Uh, I don't think so because of the way the PayPal is set up and everything, and he right. has the stories and all that can. kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. But yeah, so five bucks. I think we should maybe get a get a photo and send it in to this guy. And get it back. It's only and, five and bucks. Get some dry. Okay, let's do it. Okay. We'll, we'll get a picture taken. We'll, it. Yeah, we'll do it for sure. Okay. Okay. Does that sound good? <laughs> do it. Do it. I love it. Uh, all right. Well, let's wrap up this show. I've had a lot of fun today. I've had a lot of fun. Yeah, we've covered a lot good. of stuff at, as always. Uh, we have a We do have a, uh, a, a handful of, of updates to get to. Okay. And this first one is an amazing feel good story from fellow dummy, uh, not Nancy, or Nancy. Okay. Uh, she writes. I'm Nancy, almost 61 years old, and a fan Aww. of anything Dan Commons does. That's so nice. That's like that I guess. love you. Okay. So here's my dumbass story with a happy ending. In about 1983, I'm young and good looking and embracing the 80s like a boss. Fuck. Big uh, hair, bright colors, oh, shoulder pads, I love that look. high heels. The guy I was shacked up with, an RN in a local emergency room, uh, wanted to hit the grocery store before he went in to work the night shift. Okay. I pretended that I forgot my wallet, ran back into the house, stripped down to nothing but what? black thigh-high pantyhose. Oh, my God. Black stilettos and a full-length faux for a coat. Oh, my God. I can picture this kind mm-hmm. of look. Mm-hmm. This is exactly the kind of... I'm a little older than you. Sure. This is the kind of images that like You're... I would jerk off to as a kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you could. If it wasn't asparagus. If it wasn't asparagus. Right. Uh, it's almost closing oh time at the God. grocery store, so there weren't many people shopping. Every time we found ourselves alone in the aisle, I would whip open my fur coat for what? a flash. Didn't want him to go to work bored. So fast forward to 2002. I'm single again. And just landed a pretty cool job as a corporate office manager for a chain of local grocery stores. Cool. A couple of the store managers and some of the corporate workers played every Thursday night at the Blues Club open mic night. It was amazing okay. to see how talented my coworkers were. One guy, Mike, uh, and they split early. Yeah. People were getting too drunk, and that really wasn't their scene, so they wanted to, you know, go have some some time and get together. So they went to sure. dinner. Um, been pretty good friends. I asked him why he was still single. He said he was waiting for his dream woman. And I asked him, uh, well, what's your dream woman? Yeah. Well, I've already seen her. Years ago, she came oh, into the store what? with piles of red hair, miles of legs, wearing nothing but a fur coat and high heels. Every time the aisle was empty, she'd flash her man. What she what? didn't know was the mirrors along the back wall were two-way. Sort of. <laughs> we could see her, but she couldn't see us. Every man in the meat department of the store was behind those mirrors following her all throughout the store. Oh, my God. Hilarious. My face got beat red, and I said, uh, was that the super fresh store in Eaters, Pennsylvania? He looked at me like I was a psychic and said, yeah. How did you know? And he goes, well, I've got good news and bad news. That girl was me, but I'm a lot older and I have a couple kids. Uh, that was our first date. Been together ever since. Oh, that we, is <laughs> I know. awesome. We both now work for another grocery store chain. He's the store director. I am HR. He's my bitch for sure. Ah. Our story is pretty famous around work. Last year, our company purchased the very store where Mike saw his dream woman. One of the owners stopped by HR and said, uh, Nance, I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but we expect you to wear all your clothes when you visit the new <laughs> store. Uh, so was I dumb in the 80s? I don't know, but it worked no. out very well, don't you think? Uh, here we are now, old and stuff, and then they sent in a picture. Zach, go ahead and bring that up here. This So here they are. Is awesome, this story. I know. So there Aww, they are. Look at them. I love So happy. Isn't that such a fun story? You said Nance? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, Nance. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. That's I a, love that. That's a great sliver of hope. That right is there. a great sliver of hope. Nice. Nance, you are awesome. Yeah, amazing stuff. Hot. All right, so let's get on to our, our next update here. And this one uh, comes off of... A pretty funny concept that we were talking about on the show. You'll you'll know it when we get into it. That's so cool. I'm just, I know. I'm, I'm gonna hold that? on to that. For, that's so cool. Right. So, uh, fellow dumber Trevor shares his disastrous toilet experience to piggyback on Dan's little shitty story from a couple episodes ago. Talking about you at ten six. Oh, he goes, "Hey guys, yeah. Trevor from Spokane here. I can relate with Dan on his toilet story as I have my own. It wasn't a restaurant, but a friend of a friend's house. I was about 16, 17 years old, and it was awkward as fuck. So this was even more embarrassing." Uh, it was a while ago, so some details are fuzzy, but here it is. I was invited to a friend's friend's house down the street to hang out with them. I didn't know this person or his grandmother. Ten minutes of arriving, I literally had to use the bathroom stat. So I found ah. the bathroom and used it to a demon spawn you call number two and clogged the toilet. <laughs> right. I plunged it for five minutes straight, and it would not go down. I decided to flush it, and it started to overflow, and I <laughs> fucking panicked. The worst part is, there's an air duct in the floor next to the toilet, and the water was draining into the <gasps> air vent. Uh, I attempted to plunge it more, which in turn made Jesus. it worse. So I'm panicking. Water's flooding into the air vents. Floor is soaked, and I fucking booked it out of the house. 
I ran home and told no one. I was so embarrassed, I didn't want to be known as the kid who was invited over and clogs toilets. About a week later, though, through friends, I hear someone mention that someone clogged their grandmother's toilet and flooded their air vents. That's my embarrassed toilet story. Love oh, is we dumb. Bastard. Scared to death. Time suck. You guys rock. Sorry for my grammar. Thanks, Trevor. I know. Isn't that great? God. I think that yeah, everybody I has most like of us a, have been there. Yeah, has a bad bathroom story. I don't have one that bad, but I've definitely, I've definitely clogged toilets and had them overflow. Like, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah I've had the overflow situation. I'm trying to think if I've had anything worse. I mean... Yeah, I've, I've, I've had some pu- public situations. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'll save that story for another time for okay. the show. And then our third update is just really, really, really short. This comes in. It's a quick confession from dummy Kyle Bailey, who writes, Hello, Dan and Joe. I wish to confess my idiocracy. For years, I believed that donkeys were made between dogs and horses. <laughs> Why did anyone break that for him? What I'm a great an, thing to believe. I'm an idiot reborn. Thank you, my humble and creative lords. P.S. Uh, do you believe you can create buttons? Uh, it's just throwback n- to... Yeah, nice secret yeah, suck reference. Secret suck reference there. Do you believe create buttons and castles? Um, I, I don't want him to feel bad because up until middle school, yeah. I thought like there was a thing called like a pickle tree. Like, you can a pick pickle pickles bush. off of trees? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that they were just... Oh, you didn't know it was a process? I know it was a, a cucumber. Vinegar, vinegar and all that? Yeah. I just thought it was a... I guess they grew, grew in bushes. A little pickle bush. I, I know that I've thought some uh, weird... Gosh dang it. Uh, Lindsay's had, Lindsay, my <laughs> wife, had several of those. Where she just, di- it just where didn't she, work y- out? Yeah, like no mm-hmm. one... Like she just didn't question something or just assume something for years right, and years. Right, And I wish I could remember one of the, what those are right now. <laughs> I just love the idea of thinking that donkeys were dogs and horses because like, what a fun animal to believe yeah, it's, sur- survive. It's it like, was alive. I know at that moment though, it's like you find out that Santa's not real. Right. And you go, oh, what? Oh, my whole... Yeah. <gasps> like a flashback flood falls over your face. I, I had a little one, but it didn't last that long. But I was so excited for a little while. But like a jackalope, yeah, which is you know obviously that fake you know creature where it's like the rabbit uh, and the antlers. rabbit with antlers, which yeah. really isn't even like they don't even put antelope horns on them. It's more like uh, white tailed deer sure. horn, right? But it just sounds cool to say jackalope. It sure does. Like a jackrabbit and that, and uh, there was like these postcards growing up in Idaho. Uh huh. Yeah, the, like yeah. the old pictures. They were yeah. everywhere for a yeah. while. Yeah. yeah, every gas station, every had gas them. station, mm-hmm. and one of them had one of these jackalopes on there, and I just didn't ask anybody. I just kept seeing it. And so I just remember one time just asking my grandpa, I'm like, where do you, where are these jackalopes? Where are these? Like, where are these? And he, I think he thought I was kidding at first. And he's like, yeah. no, he's, that's, that's not real. Yeah. And then I just remember being so sad. Like, yeah. oh no, I wanted, <laughs> uh, but I thought that was out there somewhere. This little horned I rabbit. Wanted to, wanted to catch you. I want a pet, for, I want a pet horned rabbit. <laughs> that's, that's good. <laughs> there was a, uh, last one, we'll, we'll shut up the show. Okay. But there's a friend that we were, we were, we were old. We were like yeah. 26 and we were at this party and we're trying to figure out what we're doing or we're getting ready to go to a party. Yeah. Um, and he just says out loud, he goes, ah, you know what? We'll just have to play it by year. And play it by year? With year. a Y? With a, mm-hmm. with a Y. Mm-hmm. And um, like all of us stop. And we just like look at him. We're like, what'd you say? And he goes, play it by year. And we're like, it's ear. And he goes, no, like year. Like it's a big... It's a big year. It's a big you, t- you a set it. of time. You just got to figure out. You don't know when it's going to happen. It's a big set of time. He rationalized. Yeah, he ra- all. and we're like, no, it's ear, like music, like play it by ear. We figured out as we go. And he's like, oh fuck. And he just like melted into the couch. <laughs> he's like, my whole life is a lie. <laughs> I thought that was always really That's funny. awesome. Yeah, and there's a lot of those. I mean, if you, oh, if you yeah, have great examples. Actually, someone sent in a good one. Maybe I'll put that on the show next week. Okay. About people just not understanding how you know things work, and I thought it was one way for a long time, and it really was not. I love websites about song lyrics that way. Oh right. So, yeah, so many just the it's missed like, ones. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh. oh, oopsies. That's what it says. I'm dumb. <laughs> As always, thanks to Zach Cohen for creating some of the must, uh, the custom music beds for the show. Yeah, thank thanks you. Thanks to Logan and Kate at Spicy Club, the Keith, for continuing to pump out the best merch in the podcast game, uh, man- managing our social media accounts. Uh, they do that for all three shows. The merch is at yes. badmagicmerch.com. You've got Time Suck, Scared to Death, Is We Done. And we're going to have some new merch coming up soon. Yeah, yeah, we're pumped on that. Mm-hmm. There's some there's some funny stuff down the line. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Zach Flannery and his jaw for producing and directing. Be sure to fo- I heard him <laughs> click in. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Is We Dumb. Again, online at isbedumb.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now over 50,000 subscribers. Yes. So we're excited about that. And again, all three shows are on there. So you have awesome. content for every week at Bad Magic Productions. Segment stuff, send that to dumb at isbedumb.com. Just any general questions, info at isbedumb.com. And hopefully we came out on the back end of today's episode being a little mm-hmm. less dumb yeah. than we were on the on the way in. You think we were? I, th- I think so. Okay. I learned some stuff. I know how to play accordion now. You learn how to... Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll wait. Oh, you're going to wait to play us out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should have known better. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. Neat fact. Wow. Neat fact. I looked this one up. I made sure. Because okay. it sounded fake for a little while. Okay. Frederick Bauer was the man who invented the iconic Pringles can. 
When he died, his ashes were buried what? in wine. What? Yeah, it's that true. That is amazing. It's true. Go ahead. We're going to give you a little... Wake up, Penny and Ginger. I hope you can't go back to bed. I hope this haunts you in your Sleep. stupid oh. dog dreams. I tried to come in. I fucked it. It was a tough song. It is tough. Bye, guys.